Bears on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supplies worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. Most people know that iodine deficiency has been a crisis around the world. Iodine is key to so many of the body's functions, especially the thyroid. I discovered a product being developed by Dr. Group. You now know it as Survival Shield True Nascent Iodine that your body can really absorb. Then, about a year ago, he said, listen, if you think this is powerful, I'm going to come out with rare earth, deep earth crystals. And the results that I personally have had have been life-changing. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. This is innovating, and the best part is it helps fund InfoWars.com, the radio show, the TV show, the whole media operation promoting true libertarian ideas. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. Take advantage of this unprecedented 30% off super detox special at InfoWarsLife.com. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Grew. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from 7 to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Waging war on corruption. It's Alex Jones coming to you live from the front lines of the Info War. Escape from the New World Order. Need to have a new movie with Kurt Russell. Directed by John Carpenter. We need to get Rowdy Piper back on. When we had him on last year about They Live, that was awesome. We're going to go back to a Harry Dent. Again, you can go to harrydent.com forward slash Alex Jones. He's got an unpublished chapter. I kind of halfway read this because this, I got in late today with the flights. And I was like, oh, is he supposed to one of his chapters? No, 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 no. He already had some of the chapters I saw up on the side a few months ago when it first came out. But um, this is an unpublished one that really came out after the book. And we're going to talk about his predictions now and... and Perhaps he can explain to myself and others out there what he's getting at saying it's deflation, not inflation. And, and I just want to talk you know, to him about what I'm seeing. But tomorrow, and I may even do like an hour overdrive today because I got here late. Some stations carry that fourth hour. I want to get into a bunch of this news and take your phone calls. I'm not sure if I have time to do that yet, but we'll see. I'm just more reflective now because I like to scuba dive. I like to snorkel. I never get to do it, so I went down to the Caribbean, uh, and I'd be on the boat, and they'd be being real nice to me with all those other people on the boat, you know, going snorkeling or scuba diving or going out to see the stingrays or going out to be on a wreck, and they would just, can we have a photo now at the end? And I'd say, what's going on? Oh, we're all listeners. 
And again, one of the tour guides would be a, you know, a, a cop who also you know, runs a company to go out and see the wreck. Or it would then be, I mean, I did probably like six or seven of these tours, sometimes two a day. And every time they were listeners. I'd be in a grocery store and a cop would walk by and go, Alex Jones, like what you're doing. I'd be in a dive shop and, and there'd be, you know, three black Caribbean guys in there. They'd all go, that voice, you're Alex Jones. I like what you say. I have a lot of the same views. We listen. And, and again, I'm not up here bragging. Hey, I got a bunch of listeners. What I'm saying is we should be able to turn this around if Tea Party candidates are winning, not just here, but in Europe. Le Pen and uh, the UKIP party all over Europe. I mean, they got the biggest gains in the EU election. And it's happening here. So we're going to go back to Mr. Dent here in a moment. I just want to tell people this is exciting. Because I learned it's a particular Caribbean island. They would never say anything when you're at a restaurant or wouldn't say anything when you'd gone out and done your trip. And at the end, they would say, I I'm a listener. Or they'd be sitting there holding me in like reverence. And I could tell, I go, are you a listener? Well, I didn't want to bother you, sir, but we really appreciate you. I mean, it's just amazing, amazing that I can go to England. People saw live feeds of this on the at Bilderberg two years ago, or now a year and a half ago. And I just go to Big Ben, do a live feed, and there's people walking by, by the scores, and like half of them are stopping. Alex Jones, Alex Jones. Quite frankly, I don't know where these numbers are at because we have millions a day we can track to visit the sites, listen to the show and AM and FM stuff. But I don't know where the numbers are, where it's all coming from. YouTube, that, uh, that can't be it. All I'm telling you is there's government has a 7% approval rating right now. We should be able to beat this. We should be able to take the country and the world back. That's what I'm getting at here. Now, before we go back to our guest here, um, this whole broadcast is listener supported. I can hire more reporters. I can pay my reporters better. Uh, I can get better equipment. You've seen the new studio. We'll be doing the show out of there full time soon, but I've been doing a lot of special reports out of there. What I did last week was before I left town, I taped a bunch of reports. Then they aired them live on the show with David Knight, who was live, but they had taped to air, obviously, my clips. And we're building all of this because of your support and it costs a lot i don't want to get into how much it costs to run this whole operation a year but one reason it's been successful is that i take it's got to be 95 percent of the money that comes in here and put it right back in the operation and then over the years have created a fund in case the whole economy shut off so we could keep running three four months when you talk about collapse it really scares me because in a collapse we need to be prepared and we need to get as big as we can and before the collapse comes so that we've told the story, so that we have a position to go to the next level to really try to change history. That's what I'm into. I'm not into fancy things. I'm not into money. Not that there's anything bad about it. I'm into money because it gives me freedom. The elite want to make you poor under their control because they want to run your life. And we sell the best products, the best supplements, the best Made in America t-shirts and Molon Labe belt buckles that are selling so fast they'll be gone in two weeks at this rate. Infowarsstore.com. We've got the great anti-socialism shirt that's the best seller. Uh, we've got everything at InfoWarsStore.com, InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsHealth.com, 888-253-3139, 888-253-3139. And uh, just please continue to support us in the free market. This is true free association. A, I, I mean, I like being a good guy, and I like having high-quality products I'm proud of. That's just normal instincts to be successful. Good guys, you know, end up being successful because you treat people like you want to be treated until you get a rigged system. But we sell the best products because I really only want to sell you the best water filters at the lowest price that really are number one and destroy the competition in gravity-fed filters pro pure. I really want to sell you the best nascent iodine. I really want to sell you the best super male vitality that's just done amazing things for my energy, my libido, you name it. I really want you to get these products and get a great deal and be blown away by the quality of them. And then fund our operations so we can all be successful together. Because I'm defending family rights, the Second Amendment, sovereignty. Just We're here because it's survival. I don't deserve to be patted on the back. I deserve you to stand right beside me. And that means financial support. And that means the armies of people that listen. 
need to tell other people how they can listen or pass forward those videos, pass forward those news articles, those clips. Everybody should send the link out of harrydent.com forward slash Alex Jones to read about this. So when this all comes down, people then understand our credibility goes even higher. Why do you think the show's exploding? Why do you think Harry Dent's popularity is exploding? Or Rand Paul's or Ted Cruz? Because, folks, we're on the deck of the Titanic saying get to the lifeboats. Now, I've been ranting, sir. Uh, it's just that I think it's important before we get into the economy and where it's all going and, and some of your charts you're about to show here for TV viewers. Radio listeners will be able to find this on YouTube tomorrow or prisonplanet.tv tonight, but there's a free feed at infowars.com forward slash show right now. But but briefly, and then I want to get into inflation. Briefly, I, I mean, I'm not a technical financial scientist like you. I just look at it with street smarts as a layman. But how would you quantify what I just said? Do you agree with it uh, uh, about the awakening, A, or B, am I being too optimistic? I mean, what does your gut tell you? No, I, I think I, I study a lot of cycles, Alex, and one of them is a 250-year revolutionary cycle, as in the Revolutionary War. 250 years ago, and, and the whole uh, uh, wealth of nations by, by Adam Smith and stuff, I mean, we're, do, we're ripe for a major revolution. Things do go towards more freedom, even though at times they go the other way, and I think that's what's going to come out of this. And I do think it's important. I've got the same mission you do. I'm just warning people. The media doesn't want people to hear this. Politicians don't want people to hear it. You know, Merrill Lynch doesn't want people to hear it, you know, in financial institutions and banks. But this is the truth. I just tell people, here's how much debt we have. And we have $127 trillion by my last conservative count, eight times GDP. Here's what our demographics say. It predicted the boom. Now it's predicting a bust. So I'm, I'm not a bearish person. I've been bullish for 20 years. But the trends are down, and now with these bubbles, I've also studied every bubble in history. I got a whole chapter in the book, chapter five on bubbles, this unpublished chapter on China, the greatest bubble of them all. You gotta understand bubbles, because people get in denial. And so I agree with you, people who hear this sort of stuff, who hear the truth, need to tell other people and warn them, because people are gonna get their ass handed to them. I hate to say this, but you know, you think the last crash was bad or the last recession, I think this is going to be more like the Great Depression because the longer they put this off and the more they pump up with all this artificial money, which, again, is just like taking an artificial drug to, to stay high and get higher. It's exactly like that. The worse the come down is going to be. So people do really do need to be prepared. They need to get in safe investments now. Don't don't chase this bubble any further. It may go up another few percent. It's already bubbly, and I, I tell you, if I can show that, the, the one chart I should show people is that megaphone chart I, I <clears throat> alluded to earlier. If you look at it, and this is a very simple chart, nothing complicated about it. Each bubble has taken us to new highs, and each crash has taken us to new lows. This is exactly a similar pattern to how the market peaked when the last generation peaked in their spending, the Bob Hope or World War II generation, we had three higher peaks in 65, 68, and 72. And then we and we kept having lower lows. And of course, the big crash hit in 73, 74, and nobody saw that coming. This is a very obvious pattern. You talk about common sense. Our biggest indicator is the spending wave. It's just a 46-year lag for the predictable, quantifiable peak in spending of the average household in this country. And it would have told you decades ago that we would have an unprecedented boom from 1983 to 2007 with the rising baby boomers earning and spending more money, getting their kids in college and all that good stuff. And then we would have a downturn from 2008 to 2020 to 23. That's a very simple indicator, common sense. People spend more money as they raise their families. Who doesn't understand that? We, we can quantify it. We can project this. We know when people are born and I adjust for legal and illegal immigrants so that it's even more accurate and so these are tools anybody can understand economists actually are too damn complicated they get into all the complexity all the detailed indicators and end up missing the forest for well the you tree. know why it's because they want to specialize in different schools to then compete with each other to have more textbooks and then to confuse the whole thing so nobody can even understand it that's what a lot of the big banks have been financing for 100 years is basically conflating everything but let me ask you this and i want you to go through the charts and, and basically predict the next shoe to drop uh, with our guest here today, uh, Harry Dent. Let me ask you this question. Look, I agree with you that when the big depression really kicks off, we're already in an obvious long-term recession, depression in many areas of the world, depression in different sectors. 
it's a very managed economy, so some areas are boom, but the